Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. A bit early. Since I did that last video at night and like, I had to be very, very, very quiet. <clears throat> and after a lot of searching, 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 because I hadn't bought the sonic screwdriver, I found a picture and I posted on Facebook. And then I had a, a viewer comment. Thank you for the comment. And I showed my cousin. He said, yeah, that's a lot of money. Then I put a bid. I used my other account, my other overseas account, to put a bid. And I like two days left. I hope, I hope, I hope. I sent it his address. Because my cousin then can add it to box number four. Because there's a, I just received box number one yesterday. I'm very happy. He said, you know, check to see if there's any silverfish or mice in there. Well, definitely no mice. If there were any silverfish, it would have went from the UK to the US before I got to it. So I didn't see anything. I'm happy about that. Now, as I was checking. Because he told me, and I was like, nah, double check. I looked and I found. Mary Queen of Scots. No. I found Romana beheaded. Because, you know, it's glued on. So I use the. Uh, I use my Elmer's Goes on Purple Dries Clear school glue. That works good. My hands were, you know, little pegs on them and the roots, you know, so it had to be. I looked. I used my little. Uh, freaking up. Uh, Bring it out. I use the toenail clipper. Hmm. The trim just a little bit on the edge there because it won't stick in. It's the problem with paints. It's it's it main sticky. I mean, you know, I have three PO. Three PO. Up there, I took the episode seven three PO, the red arm. I said, you know what? <clears throat> this you know, customized figures. So it's. A segue for customized figures. You know, see how it works that way? With a segue? On a segue? Where? He just saw. Oh, he's up there. Okay. So with 3PO there, I paint his like silver, you know? And it's still sticky after all this time. Is it no primer? I got a. I, think I do have primer. I think I do. I had to do because I was going to prime uh, Panthor. I was going to. Note to self. Well, my sticky nose. Clap my nose. Uh, Crime me. Give me a second. Maybe I should put some sticky nose on my desk. I, I, I really didn't clean. I just threw everything into there. Everything else on my desk. I still haven't done the TV yet. I, just, I know I usually getting further and further apart. I took out some things I knew that are not part of October. But um, and I added like one, the salt shakers, and the one Raven's brew. I put the little sonic screwdriver in the 14th Doctor's hand, didn't paint it, you know. I don't have the, my, the microscope or agility to paint. So it's clear plastic. It's, it's fine. I put the sombrero on my R5 unit. Day of the Dead. That's all they had available to Disney. And of course now I have Day of the Dead. Um, black cat. With the white stripes and the pumpkin head. Which I should have looked better. I don't, too much of a rush trying to find. Hmm. So I started the scene. Start scene. It's like I opened the box. To make sure there's no creepy crawlies. So hopefully. If there were any. They weren't in my other room because I didn't open it for hours. Now, they did escape between here, between the UK and here. So, we go by that one. But again, as for the Sonic Screwdriver, I am hoping and praying no one buys it. Now, someone bought the um, same, same dude that had the Sonic Screwdriver had this, you know, the one that, you know, had to be broken to remove the batteries. 
He had it for ten bucks. I someone already bid on it, so I put a bid on it. I don't know. I don't mean I don't need it. It's still, you know. I took the batteries out. I had to. And I ruined so many things and the battery acid I thought, you know, oh you should screw that. Screw you, idiot. Whoever designed this. The screws suck. And it was two different screws. I said it before, I'm saying it again. I was like, okay, maybe it's a Romana screwdriver or something. <laughs> Leading back to Romana. So, using the body of Lilith from 10th Doctor's line of figures, painted white, you know, something I could have done myself, but I, th you know, so many things I could have done. I kind of had a bigger background let's see here um thank you enjoy here's uh wow i don't know because it's been in storage or something but um it's uh rusty no, not the figure right not the character rusty but the plunger arm is rusty That's uh, some things I just no, it was painted rusty. Okay, this is from Time Lord Victorious. Kind of freaked me out for a second. <coughs> <laughs> some things I just want to not display yet because yeah, three more boxes from Richard. <laughs> just don't have the room because at this time I was not into Masters of the Universe again. Or the Hot Wheels. Or the Transformers. Well, Popcorn Head. I, I really got to change this whole setup. I, mean, I had, you know, the four TARDISes which I pl plan to use in my stories. You know, I want to change that to put the Funko Pops up there. Instead of behind me. Which would be an episode of Funko Pops. Wow. Look at this dude. Look at this. Ashley, look at me. Time Lord Victorious Dalek. No. Close to the interpretation you're going to get, baby. Wow. Look at that. Awesome details. You can wrap it up and put it back in there. Sheer merch. Pretty merch. Oh, you just do a little square, too. Remember the little square? I like Time Lord Victorious. I did not go through all the books. I actually just went through the, the Daleks, Daleks cartoon, animated, Daleks animated series for Time Lord Victorious. So I have the, you know, the small miniatures. Got most of them through Big Bad Toy Store and I, th I think through Eagle Moss too. But I have them. And then, as many as I... I have at least... If there's six, I have definitely three to four. That were customs. The others were like, eh, I have so many pieces. And when I had three days off, thinking, I only have three days. I have three days off and I'm not working. I got so depressed. And I was like, damn, I don't have time. So many things, but uh, remember um, from closing time? Not closing time. When the cyber controller took over, uh, took over the doctor. Why aren't you focusing? Focus, damn it! Focus, 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 focus on my hand. Focus on a figure. You focus for a second for Mary. Mary. I did have to reset the microphone because I did have a computer's up, a Windows update. But camera, I focus camera, focus, focus. Focus. 
focus. Almost. Oh, you get the idea. It's just paint, but it's like so spectacular. There. No. Uh, I'm done. We never got the new Cyberman. That's what irritates me. Now I do have the ones from um, friend James Lee. I had to bug him again because. He said I was going to wait on the Cyberons. I want a Cyberon. I made the 3D prints. Show these before, but you know. So that's just what I got. Cyberon. A uh, Cyber. The latest the Cyberman. So I do have it. I'll get back to this. I am jumping, but I got this at Walmart a few weeks ago for four fifty. Ollie's had them for four three ninety nine. I'm saying. Then again, I made um, uh, another mistake. Someone had a Dark Troop pocket watch. I overpaid. I put down the price bid. He be like, okay, I accept. So fast. And they had them available to China. I was just looking and looking and looking. And then I said, like, oh, crap. The one that the uh, back broke because I used, a, I used a box cutter to open the back up. So I chipped it away. I didn't buy one to put batteries in it again because I got to look for batteries. Yeah, they had the same one that I got here for a whole lot less. So for the price to pay in the other one, I'm going to use it. Well, I understand why... Richard sent me this figure. Her legs are loose. She's a loose leg lady. I thought so when I took out the package. Like, okay, I'm gonna have this figure, but a free figure because her leg is loose. Foot loose, foot loose. Leia, our lovely princess. I mean, wobbly, wobbly, leggy. This is crazy wobbly wobbly. So, there she stands. I just need a peg for the foot. This is a custom I know I ordered. And sticky. Yeah. I don't know why. Why is it sticky? And then someone's hair. Those stick on the ground kind of thing. A um, this one's using third doctor's coat directly onto sixth. So give him a unique look. Very posh. I like that. You know. I like it a lot. There's uniqueness of it. That's why I got it. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Still watching see anything crawled out from last night either. An ood. An ood without his uh the thing. Um, uh, maybe it's in a box. An ood without his globe above. His brain in the globe. This is years of stuff. It's like I have a, a the customizer who builds 
Dalek parts. He still has my stuff. He found it recently. So I said, don't worry about it. Take your time. I was going for another Ice Warrior because I have a head somewhere. So, swap his head out. I did see something I paid a bit for because I really wanted it. I saw it last night. I see it again. Oh, it's a three pack. I remember. It's a four pack. I'm going to put pause every time I open this stuff because there's more and more and more and more and more. more. Okay, here's uh, units through the ages. So here's a newer unit soldier. You know, with the. Just a generic unit soldier. What the? I can't know why it's focusing. Focus. Focus, damn you. Hmm. Well, you know. Yeah, backwards, isn't it? Yeah. Red first, then blue. Double D double die. It's not Sylvester. You have a stain on your shirt, your uniform. Soldier, you have a stain on your uniform. I said. Oh, we also use the wrong paint to paint over the emblem on his uniform. So he's. I need to find the correct paint for this one. Put him on the side. <clears throat> Cardboard. I pause every time I just do this. A couple of weeping angels, you know, very simple. Oh, let's see what it was. Okay. Um. This one I bought, custom. Glad I did. Wow, beautiful. Darker gray, darker metallic silver. Not shinier silver, but you know, I could never do this.
Beautiful. Dreadnought. I love Cybermen and Daleks because there's so many variations you can do. But with the new Daleks coming out, I was like, I'm kind of tired of the figuring out the variations of Daleks. So Cybermen are the back to number one because in my stories, first season, my companion to my doctor, well, he was the doctor. The companion to my doctor was half a Cyberman. He was rescued from the complete cyber conversion at that time. In the second timeline, <clears throat> so that's the first timeline, obviously. Second timeline, that's a couple of stories. I just didn't go into it because they had a whole series there. Oh, good. So I, I must have got that speck off his sweater. That's good. This was from the video game. And I saw someone had an eBay. I was like, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Red coat. And interpretation of the pants. Red coat, fifth doctor. Excellent. I love that one. I love them all. Here's the... Um, this has to be more recent. I mean, recent, recent. Before they, my cousin found out that the mailman, the postal, postal worker, actually come and pick up packages. The blue suit. I was sending things over to him because he just packages them all together and free, free shipping or very inexpensive shipping. Save me some costs. This, I don't remember why. I know I have one. Big giant one like this. Could be the same one, I don't know. For now. Gonna pause on this one. This one's hard. Oh. We're gonna put this in here as a sadist. Oh, you know what? It slides. Okay. I'm sure some of this came from a friend who know who sold off his files to someone else. These are Dalek parts. Dalek piece here. Um, that was plastic. He and his wonderful wife made a lot of pieces, and yeah, this is rusty. He stopped sending them to the U.S. because cost and. Uh, so I said, send my cousin who was upset at the time because, you know. I can see their faces. Lovely people. I just retired from making them. It has to be a good thing because I don't know, but then I got two other people I know. And their stuff on Etsy constantly sells out, so I'm like, oh my god. So here's part of a Cyberman conversion kit. I just, um, time. Oh, this is for Star Wars. This is Boba Fett. Because, again, it was cheaper. Seven Buku bug shipping. Cup and saucer for 12th Doctor. That one focused. <clears throat> Let's 
skill than me. I shouldn't have played Candy Crush Soda Saga while I'm doing this. Because time, time, time. See what's becoming of me. As I. Hmm. I gotta rinse my mouth for two thirds. Okay. Uh, it's just cardboard box. Just open. Okay. A Dalek? That needs to be painted. Embryo Dalek needs to be painted. I'll save the best for last. Oh my god, I got some best for last. Save the best for last. Rob and Marina, I love them. Custom Dalek creations. He sold off his files to someone. So the two of them made such unique things. He, his last project for is from self only. Was the control Dalek ship. The control center in the Dalek ship from Dalek Invasion of the Earth 2150 AD. So he made that for himself. Such beauty and elegance. Oh, almost part fell out there. Okay. Um, you know, Dalek pieces. Oh, shoot. The ear pieces. Make me fill the desk there. So, that one, that one. Another, that one. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one. Short and tall. No, you just give me two talls. Wonderful people. I got another needle. Put the needle on record. From Dalek Steak Manhattan. It was uh, green. Pick it up, doctor. This one's red. I love it. It's like for variations. I love it. Some tape around it. We'll fall out again. I had tape. There it is. He sent me a loose leg layer. Okay. No idea, people. No idea. It was in the baggie. It was in the baggie. I have no idea what the pieces are. Was this piece? And this piece. I'm just going to put them in a little box here. The Dalek embryo. No, one more. Where is the other one? The one with the tray that I... There it is. And there's a little arrowhead to push. I need to turn a fan on. It's getting hot in here. Pause. Okay. Put a little stuff on my tooth as well. He did leave me a piece of popcorn. Richard, you left me a piece of popcorn. It looks like popcorn. Very still piece of popcorn.
piece of plastic or a very dead silverfish, I don't know. Richard! Oh, pieces for a vervoid, which, you know, I have a vervoid custom figure, so. You know, someone wants that immediately, I got parts for a vervoid. Oh, R2D, t um, legs for vintage, um, R2-D2, R5-D4. Trying to think if there was any other ones that were being made. Besides, they were custom, so. Yeah, I got new ones, which had magnets on the bottom, so. Time. This is old stuff. So that's for sale. Uh, a new, si new who, new series version of a Dalek embryo. So, put on the bronze Dalek. Looks like Star Wars. The more, yeah, Star Wars. Not, I ordered that, so. No chain, but you know, I got a chain. If I felt needed one, I can put a chain on the sucker. No, wait a minute. This is not Jody's. This is David's. This, it's not David's either. It's not silver. It's gold. So if I want to put a chain to represent Yana, I could. Like I said, I got a bronze one. Which, you know, I said I was trying to find batteries. I could put batteries in there, but again, trying to break the back even further. Which I can still buy one for uber cheap. Because it's, you know, not heavy metal. <sighs> but this is the pocket watch I can just keep somewhere. Okay, I do have two of them. Okay. For now. Yes. I gotta clean this whole thing here. I gotta clean everything, you know. Um, blasters, um, guns for the Dalek. Kind of strange. <clears throat> Eleven Doctor's coat. Oh, I wanted this too. So I'm not sure if I ordered it or. Just a sec, I leaned on something. Yeah, 
Yeah, Motu Joe and my friend Ray from Collecting Classics. He's on Instagram. He's a bit faster because he's cutting open the box. I had to open the box just because. Oh. Another headless character. Some of the very thick copping their heads off there. Okay, um, okay. Put that right here. It's pretty yes. One more pause. I mean, I even have the sense of I did trim a little too much off the neck off my Valyard figure with one of the sunglasses because he fit another one, another figure, but put him back in that figure. It's like, okay, it, there's a difference in size. Like, yeah. So my boo boo. By oh. something, put a little in between. Now, this one, I guess it was Yaz. And they, you know, cut the head off and cut the head off the other, the body. Cut the head off the body and cut the head off from another figure. There's a gaping, there's a hole between. So I just put something in between. I just put some little paper towel just to give it a glue it and so ad adhere, absorb, and so forth. So let it sit there. Like, shut that out of from No, Romana's head was a clear cut. I still do that. If, if for some reason it fall off again, but it's it's more steady, it's more stable fitting. So she's been okay all night, all night long. For this must be Yaz custom. You know, let's see. I, I was sitting on the top of the the table. <clears throat> I don't know what that was, but my cousin's been eating foods. Is, oh, this one is a, a unique one. This one came from the comic book. I don't know if that was Richard's hair because not mine. I know what hair falls from my head every freaking day. God, I need a win lottery. This is uh, more a comic book version of Missy, when she was, I'm the doctor. So someone did that, that was hilarious. She has one blue glove. And the other one's not painted, I don't know why. It's not for me to ask. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm trying to push forward so the umbrella gets straight again. A bit sticky too. I got a little blue dabba dee dabba down my finger. Oh, here's the other Dreadnought Cyberman. Scissors. Again, box one of four. Not to mention what I have in storage in Orlando. Cyber Leader. This one is silver. The other one was metallic. This one this was metallic silver. The other one was uh, a dark gray silver. Metallic gray. Cyber Controller. Hmm. 
Oh, a couple of dead silverfish. And uh, invasion Cybermen. Uh, I mean, uh, attack of the Cybermen. Cyber controller head. Needs a little bit of painting. I have another head. So I have a friend, uh, Ron, back when he was doing the customs. And he lived in Florida. He lives in Florida, so it's like easy to do. Okay. So it's so cheaper in shipping. But he gave up on doing the customs. You know, I'm grateful that he did what he did. Some beautiful stuff. So, that's box one. Oh, again, I forgot. Like yesterday when I forgot to talk about the salt and pepper shakers, which I did show. And knowing that I didn't pay attention to the pumpkin. This one I... This one's up there with my... Regenerated doctors, which I have the picture I've shown before. To transport needs to be reglued. No, it's been a while. No big deal. I got the glue right here. Just gotta clean up the mess, but uh, it was a ride for kids, yeah. and. It's what's inside of it, you know. The control panel is not in there. But, you know, when, when you say it like that, it's perfect, you know. So i got to re-glue the, the arms on. Memory serves, plunger goes on this side. So, that's it. A nice 43-minute video of Doctor Who Customs and such, which I got from my cousin Richard, Box 1. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Positive comments, please. And I'll get to another video after I make all this stuff go away into another box. Into the box. Cleaner stuff. Yeah. And as always, remember, time waits and turns slowly.